Hi there, welcome to the video. Today I'm going to show you how to fix this error you might get. The disk check could not be performed because Windows can't access the disk. Hope you find this guide useful. If you do, please help me out by clicking the subscribe button below. Now I had this problem on one of my servers at work where the F drive here was just sort of greyed out. So you can see here the C drive, it's, it's managed to scan the drive correctly. You can see it's a 99.6 gigabyte drive. But for some reason this drive was it was there but you couldn't access it if you double clicked on it you got um, an error about uh, similar to this windows can't access the disk um, so the first thing i did is try to run a check disk so if you right click on it uh, let me just show you so if i use this d drive as an example so if you right click on it and go to properties go to tools and here error checking so I wanted to perform a check disk but as soon as I clicked on that I got that error message come up and it wouldn't run the check disk if you go into the event viewer of the system as well uh, you'll get this event event ID 55 and it says a corruption was discovered so to fix it what you need to do is uh, my D drive as you can see is, is perfectly fine at the moment I can get into it um, I'm just going to use that as an example so what you need to do is if you click on the start menu type in CMD and then right click on command prompt run as administrator if you get this prompt up click yes and you need to type in CHKDSK then the drive letter that's affected so with me it's D so if we do D colon space forward slash F F means fix um, any issues it might find and if you hit enter uh, it might run the scan and it might complete uh, here it's saying it can't run the scan because um, it's in use so do you want to force the dismount in this drive so if you click Y and press enter it's now dropped that lock and it's running the scan and as you can see it's completed there's there's no files on there that's why it's completed so quick um, if you've got lots of data on there it could take a long time it could take an hour or two um, but yeah as soon as you've run that the drive should be available straight away uh, if it's not, just reboot your machine and it should come up then. But thanks for watching the video and I'll see you in the next one.